Sometimes I think I should have stopped there, but I had another crazy idea. So I ended up moving everything over there a bunch of times until I could find a combination I like. Today I'm finishing part two of my room reset. Come clean, organize, and rearrange my room and closet with me and Reese. Continue where I left off for my last video. I didn't clean the other side of my room yet, where I had my clothes rack, bookshelf cart, and my desk. I want to move my desk more towards the right. I already got rid of something and made room there. So I'm moving stuff off my desk so when I move the desk it won't fall off. I had that <laughs> happen to me before and lost things because I didn't take it off before moving it. Let's not do that again. Next, I do have some stuff underneath my desk, so I'm gonna have to move it. Right now it is organized and you know, not so messy, but it will get messy when I move the desk. Okay, I removed everything from under the desk, but there's still some stuff on it, but I'm gonna see if I'm able to move it while taking it off. Then I had to sweep the dirt that was underneath the desk. Then I moved the bookshelf cart and swept that. I started putting the stuff back that was underneath the desk. So my plan was to put the clothes rack against the same wall with the desk. But it looks like it's not going to fit with the bookshelf cart there. But I still try to see if it would fit. So it's going to fit without this bookshelf thing. We're just going to put it aside for right now. Now I'm not going to show what else I did because I do end up later moving the clothes rack and bookshelf cart like 20 more times. Because I had to make room for something else that is going to come in the mail for Reese. I forgot to press record but I just wiped down the desk and the printer so it's not so dusty. <laughs> now putting back the stuff on the desk. Doesn't this look so cluttered? Especially with my keyboard. I've been liking using the keyboard and I decided not to get a monitor because I like the convenience of a laptop. So I ordered a new laptop screen because my other one broke, but it still is cluttered with the keyboard, right? So now I got a foldable monitor stand. It says it has a built-in drawer and phone stand. Ooh, we gotta check that out. I, I didn't realize it had that too. So I got it in the color black so it matches my desk. Now let's see how it extends. Oh, okay, so there's two lengths. You could do the smaller one like this or the bigger one like that. It does fit my desk, the longer length, but it's kind of pushing it because it's gonna have to go on my mouse pad. I do like this size. It gives me enough room for my mouse I can't slide my keyboard underneath. That's what I was hoping I could do. That's what it's for. The longer length is perfect for like a bigger keyboard like this. So at the time of filming this, I didn't have my new screen installed yet. My laptop was much lighter, so I thought it was so shaky at first. But later, I did end up moving my flower vase, so I had more room to not be on the mouse pad because that was causing it to be unbalanced as well. So you'll see me add my old laptop stand at first so I can add more weight to it, but now I don't need it with my new laptop screen. So let's try out the phone holder. Okay, so you gotta push out the keyboard more if you're gonna have the phone there. That's cool. I wish I had a bigger desk though. I can tuck this in and pretend there's a laptop screen right here. <laughs> It's coming in tomorrow, okay? I would put this probably here and I would be in my chair closer, right? And I could do this. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then this is for a tablet, it says. Um, I don't have a tablet, so I can put something here. What the? You can hide your phone in there. Oh wait, no, it says built-in drawer. Never mind. So yeah, it is meant to be a drawer. That's very cool. I'm definitely gonna find use for this, but I like it. The setup, I got to add all my stuff in it, even my speakers. Cause I always didn't know where to put my speakers, but now I have room on the stand. If you're interested in this monitor stand, you can get the same one. I'll have the link down below. It's on Amazon from Clear Look, Clear Look with a K. Now back to the spring cleaning. So, <laughs> uh, it's very sunny. I don't even know if I, yeah, I don't even need my light right now. <laughs> it came in today. 
I'm excited to show you. This is why I cleaned this area. Aww. Look, he got his little cat post thing. It's called a Nightfall Cat Tree. Very cool from Happy and Polly. So the next day, I had a crazy idea. To rearrange it again, I was thinking of having the cat tree closer to my desk, while also still making room for my bookshelf cart. It barely fits, so I was trying to see if I could make more room while Reese was having a little too much fun. <laughs> he was enjoying himself, as always. After moving the clothes rack more and cat tree, the bookshelf cart finally fit. Sometimes I think I should have stopped there, but I didn't like how the cat tree was blocking my clothes rack because when I film my videos, I don't want it to look so cluttered with the cat tree in front of it. So I had another crazy idea to move my mirror because where it's at at the moment is not ideal. It could be in a better spot. So I ended up moving everything over there a bunch of times until I can find a combination I like. Stretch it, Reese. He did it again. He did this in my last video. I think he just likes to be in high places next to me. But that idea didn't last long. I also didn't want to block the mirror, but my clothes rack is so long and my mirror is pretty big. So I couldn't fit everything I wanted there. I really didn't know where to put my light because the wire doesn't reach that long, so I couldn't have it too far. <laughs> there he goes again on the top. 10 hours later. Now I end up moving those containers on the other end. And yes, they do stay there, at least for now. Now the clothes rack is going beside it. So next, the mirror's final spot is in the corner with the light behind it. I think it works because I can still see myself in the mirror and not have my clothes rack blocked. I don't have room over here for the bookshelf cart, sadly. Now lastly, my wall decor. I like how Reese can sleep next to my desk so I can see him while I'm on my laptop. He's so cute. Time to organize my clothes. It really needs it because it's not organized anymore. I usually I put it in like the sections. <laughs> and there's four ways I'm thinking about sectioning it. By season, occasion, style, and color. I usually do those first three, but the last one with color, I don't really do. I skip that one because that's just a lot of, you know, extra organizing. So right now on the right is the winter stuff. So we now are going to have to push those towards the back because we're probably not going to really touch it unless it's going to be cold that day or we're going somewhere that's cold inside. So we can't put them in the sections yet because it's, you know, there's just too much clothes. I have a lot of clothes. So it's easier for me to put them aside like I always do. If you've been watching my videos, I do this every time. You gotta take the sections out and you can put them in sections and then we'll figure out where we're gonna place them. These aren't a regular jacket, these are denim jackets. So definitely make a separate section for that because I feel like I can still wear that for spring. Especially these, these are very light colored and they have flowers on them. So I've been putting stuff like jackets in a pile that I know I'm not gonna be wearing this season. And other piles are long sleeve shirts, sweaters, and button ups. And don't forget the blazers. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one did not wanna leave. For the most part, I thought it had all the winter stuff, but like somehow these tank tops ended up over here. This one's definitely like a spring or summer color because it's like the light colors. I mean, this one's cute for spring. Maybe I'll leave it out with the dim jackets. See, I feel like I need an area for my workout stuff because this is just with the long sleeve shirts. That's really a workout top. The last two are biker jackets and, or not biker jacket, leather jacket. And you don't want to get towards the sun. So usually I like putting them in the back of the closet anyways. Um, but I'm going to put it with the jackets for now. It was like two years ago when I got them that I was into them. I haven't been wearing them as much. So now this side is clear. 
start moving things you want on this side then. So I had to think about what items I'm gonna be wearing more during spring and summer, and that's also gonna be dresses. I think there's another universe. So now that all the dresses are on the right side, I'm going to organize by the occasion and season. Just found a dress in my closet that um, looks like someone clawed it, I think. Now this dress is ruined, but I did wear it to a couple things. So I guess we're gonna have to put her away. So the first section was workout dresses, like spaghetti strap dresses that aren't like too long. The next one is like long summer spring dresses. Then the next one was short sleeve dresses. And then we got long sleeve dresses. Formal dresses. So I did separate the formal dresses because those are not going to grab every day, right? It's only for like a special occasion where I'm going out. And I want to look nice. And then lastly, in the back, is going to be the sweater dresses or the dresses that I would wear in fall and winter. So now I'm going to put up like the jackets and the denim jackets that I want to wear this spring behind the dresses. And then I push the winter dresses in the back. I'll probably put the cardigans since I already put the jackets here. Okay, so I organized it a little bit by the color. Some of them are like multiple colors and not really like the same colors. So I tried my best for that. But I think that's going to be it for the right side because it's kind of getting full. And I still want to be able to move around the clothes. The left side, I'm thinking short sleeves and tank tops in the front. Well, this isn't go here. Maybe in that other universe, I'm a flower in your the overalls? I forgot about those. Those can be any time of the year, really, depending on how you style it, right? So I'll probably just put it behind the short sleeves and the tank tops. Once I get over here. Somewhere in a different life. Then the overalls. Well, slash rompers. Before adding the rest of the sections that are left, I'm gonna organize the left side by the type and style. Starting with the short sleeves first. And I'm so happy that I fit. I section it by crop tops and t-shirts and I guess like button ups. So I don't know if it got any of the part when I was doing the tank tops cause it didn't show as recording, but I did the tank tops and I sectioned it with the button up workout tank tops. And then we got um, like solid color tank tops and then the graphic tank tops, crop tops. And I, of course I color coded that as well. And then next to it, remember, is the overalls and rompers. Now I'm gonna put the long sleeve shirts and jackets in the back because that's something I'm probably not gonna wear this spring and summer. I think these are all the sweaters. Put those in the very back. It's definitely not gonna grab those. And then our jacket. It's hard to see from this angle, but I sectioned it by cropped long sleeve shirt. Then I got regular long sleeve shirts, button ups, and then the jackets and sweaters. Now I didn't really section it by color because it's towards the back. It's something I don't really ever look at. So that's why I put those things towards the back and the things I'm gonna actually wear towards the front. Now for the bottoms, um, right now at the moment I have all the skirts, skirts at the bottom. The reason I put it here, cause so I can wear skirts more, you know, it did help a little bit. I did grab it more, but then I didn't. Cause it's just so much easier, you know, when it was cold not to put on the tights too. The only other thing I would put here would be my denim shorts or just any shorts, I guess. Hmm. 
I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wear... I mean, I still wear my denim shorts, but I felt like that's a style I always wear. It's my go-to because it's just easy to wear and punchable, right? I'll probably still grab them, but keep the skirts to see if I can, you know, wear them more, right? So all I have to do is organize it again because it just, you know, goes everywhere. And at one point, I didn't get it on recording, but a while ago, Reese, like, knocked down the skirts out of the top cubby. I thought maybe he wanted to go in it, so I just I took it out, but he didn't even go in the cubby hole. I'm like, why even knock my stuff down then? I don't know. Um, cats are cats. But he's sleeping right now, thankfully, right? Let's we'll start with the top. So I'm not really doing it by color because um, there's not many like the same and it wouldn't look right. I just remembered I did get some new spring skirts from Dresden, but they're hung up on the clothes rack over there. But I'm going to leave it over there because those outfits are already made, so they're ready. I like this, but I'm not going to wear it unless it's 4th of July. And I already wore it for 4th of July. <laughs> So the bottom, I don't know if you can see, you can see from here. It's kind of squished, but I felt like I forget about these. It's been winter, I've been wearing leggings a lot when I work out, so now I can start wearing the skirts. Maybe I'll lower it. Oh, we'll put it right here so I can see it. And again, it's mixed with the spandex, and it makes sense for them to go here because I can wear it under my skirt. And they're right next to the skorts, which already have the shorts built in. Now it's more tidy and organized again. It goes lawn skirts, flowy skirt, pencil skirts, skirts, and denim skirts. Now moving on to this area, I don't think I want to change anything because I wear the leggings a lot. I like to go to grab, you know, sweatpants and then jeans and then it goes shorts. Now the shorts, remember, I don't want to wear them as much. So I'm going to keep them in the bottom. All it needs is to be tied up and, you know, folded, make it look nice, not so scattered. I guess because I have so much, I just, when I go through it to find something, it gets that way over time. <laughs> Don't rub the camera. Come on. Rub, come over here. <laughs> Look who woke up from his nap. I did like the workout leggings and then more of the casual leggings. And then on the right is my bike shorts. Maybe somewhere because I don't have much room for the sweatpants. So originally the first part is like pants and you know, unique designs. Pretty much all like sweatpants and the track pants. And then we got some short sweatpants. Now the jeans on the other. He took my seat. I get up to do something real quick and this is what happens. Again, I just folded it really quickly because it's probably gonna get a little messy again, but I did put it in the sections again where it's color jeans, like flare jeans, regular jeans, and ripped jeans. Next is the shorts. The shorts don't look that bad at all. It looks like it's already folded. Yeah, I think they're just folded, but they're not organized. So the first one I did was ones that were like colored, a different color, you know, not like the regular denim color. And then I put regular denim shorts and then the other ones some have some kind of embroidery or design on it, but it's not that big. So it's not like the first shorts. And that's all the bottoms and the shells, very tidy and organized. <laughs> I like how you just go into things that I'm looking at. He likes to be around me, I guess. Lastly, what I gotta do is the shoes. At least these shoes up here. Because right now, the winter shoes are in the middle where I could reach and grab them. But I don't see myself wearing them as much, right? I'm probably not until next winter, to be honest. So, we're gonna want to move, either put them in boxes or move them to the left or the right corners away. Not reaching distance. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Oh. 
so I put the shoes more like at an angle and I think that gave me more room to add more shoes. So I put the summer shoes in the middle. Cowboy boots didn't really fit. Overall, I'm happy how it turned out because now I can see what shoes I want to wear for this spring and summer. This is how I looked before in part two. Very messy and unorganized. And that's my room all resetted. It definitely needed it. It really needed it. Like there's so much that is different now. I don't even recognize my room anymore. It literally is so organized and tidy. We'll see how long this lasts, but I'm really happy how it turned out. If you haven't seen part one, you can see me organizing my accessories and my makeup and moving my bed right here. That took a lot of work. Hope this video inspired you maybe to do some spring cleaning in your own room. Or if you just enjoyed the video, press the like button. And remember, if you want to see more videos from me and Reese, press subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.